everybody. I'm Christy Carlson Romano. I'm Brendan Rooney. And this is Bucket, Bucket List Bistro. Bistro. There are so many places across the world that Brendan and I want to see, so we thought that it would be fun to bring a little taste of some of those places that we have on our bucket list destinations right into our very own kitchen. We'll be making dishes inspired by these cultures that we have the utmost love and respect for. Our destination today that both Christy and I are obsessed with yep. is Japan. We're making sushi. And a bento box. Woo! It's gonna be so fun, I'm excited. To make your own authentic sushi, you will need 100 grams of sushi rice, one sheet of nori seaweed, two tablespoons of sushi vinegar, soy sauce, wasabi, ginger, and if you want a little crunch, some roasted white sesame seeds. Okay, let's get started. Are you ready to do this? I'm excited. Yeah, this is, this is, this is cool. So first we're gonna boil our rice, but before we do that, we need to give it a little rinse. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna put it in the pot before it's boiling. Then you're gonna let that come to a boil, and once it does that, we're gonna move it to a simmer, cover, and let cook. Yeah. All right, now we're finished making that rice. Look at that. Ooh. We're gonna need that to cool, so you're gonna put it in a bowl for a few minutes and set it aside while you get your other ingredients ready. Let's do it. It is definitely different consistency than other rice that you might cook, so make sure you get sushi rice. By the way, do you like my outfit? I do like your outfit. Do you know why I have my outfit on? I don't. Because when I looked up what to wear today, I wanted to be fashionable like the girls in Japan. The street fashion is very cool. And I don't really do things like this with my hair, but I went for it. It looks really good. But I mean, that's what I like about this show. With Buckleless Bistro, we bring the destination to your house. And I like to dress for the occasion. All right, so let's go well, ahead and- you look great. Thanks, honey. You're so let's let this cool then. Next step. Okay, so while the rice cools, we're gonna go ahead and cut this fish. You ready, Brendan? Don't put it so close to my face. <laughs> he hates fish. Um, but I love sushi, so you might actually try some of this fish. Yeah, outside. you know what? I think if it's super quality it and is. you're making it, Only then the best. I'm gonna like it. Only the best. All right, let me get the knife sharpener and the knife. Yes, Brendan loves knives, doesn't love fish. You want a nice sharp knife because you want clean cut on your sushi roll. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and make sure it's sharp. So serious. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut these guys. So Christy and I have always wanted to go to Japan. Yes. Of course, because of the current situation we're in, we're not able to go there, but we, we dream a little dream about being under cherry blossoms in Okinawa. Oh, <gasps> yes. I also really like um, that it snows there, and I think it would be so magical to go when it's snowy. Totally and... agree. I always hoped to be stationed there when I was in the Marines. It didn't happen. Yeah, we just gotta wait. But we're going there today through a culinary experience, and you're gonna do the same thing, hopefully, after you watch this video. I'll just keep cutting the fish, yeah, and then we'll go that. from there, because what we're gonna make today is a bento box. So there'll be a couple pieces of sushi, which is not sashimi. I always mix that up. I don't know why. I think sashimi is just fish. Yes. All right, this looks good. I'm very encouraged. You're doing a great job. Thanks, honey. You know what? I know this is really good fish because it smells wonderful. Yeah, it doesn't stink. Yeah, it doesn't if have that. If your fish stinks, it's not good. It doesn't have that fishy smell, which is great. I've had so many amazing conversations over sushi meals. Like, oh my gosh, my 18th birthday was at a sushi restaurant. Did you know this? I did not know that. Yes, you did, no? No. Okay, it was at a place called Tokyo Delves and it was a really fun, wild sushi bar where the, the bartenders like danced on the bars. Oh, that was before me. Well, I was 18, that was 20 years ago. Wait, I'm not 38, am I? I'm 36. I don't know, it feels like it's been five years or like five days, I don't know what's happened <laughs> being since stuck at home. started. Yeah, being <laughs> stuck at home makes the days blend together. So I think this, I feel like the rice is probably cool enough for us to start working with it. Let's go ahead and start. So in order to make this sushi rice, you're gonna dump your vinegar in your cooled bowl of rice. So you're just gonna weave that vinegar through the rice with your hands. So now we've got our makisu out, which is our sushi rolling mat. And we're gonna get our nori. Can you do me a favor? Could you just go over here and put that nori, which is our seaweed sheet, on the, uh, on the makisu. We're so now we're gonna take rice and we're gonna put it on half of the roll. Okay, so part of <laughs> cooking mm -hmm. is knowing your, where your talents lie and mine do not lie here. You know what I like about sushi in Japanese culture? It's it's artwork, and the uh, the concept of what's inside the roll 
and even what's on top of the roll. So can I can I just say something? Is if all it's, art. If it's artwork, yeah. then I should be nowhere near it. Oh, that's not true. <laughs> unless you Aww, unless that's... you want the, the the drawing of, you know, a three year old, I'm gonna go to this side <laughs> and I'm just gonna watch you and wonder. Okay, so I've put sushi rice on two thirds of the nori mat and now I'm gonna thin it out because now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our sushi art, if you will, which I will implore you to do because I know you like, no? What is it that you like? No, I'm gonna eat this. What are you for gonna, sure. well, okay. I just don't wanna, um, I know it's like gotta look good. It's gonna be great, honey. So that's don't what you're Don't get in doing. your head. This is all about trying new things, This right? is also just a way for me to not have to do the work. Oh, stop. Let's do this. Go ahead and put what you like, shrimp or crab? Which one do you like? Do they like? have pizza? That's Italy. That's a different episode. No sushi pizza. I'm gonna do the imitation crab today. I think that's a good choice. So, one. Yeah? I think we're just gonna get right in there with two. Nice, and then we'll we'll go ahead and do a little cucumber sure. action. Okay. Feel free to choose whatever you prefer. For sure, like you can get all sorts of creative and just have fun. Okay, let's do it. You ready to roll? Hey. All right, no, but really, do you yeah, wanna yeah. try See it? See you later, thanks. Do you know how to do this? Remember? I don't, but I'm gonna learn by watching you. You've made sushi before and I've only observed, so. Look guys, I'm making sushi. Making the sushi. It's not so hard. Oh my gosh, I made this roll. Look at this. Look at that. If, see, if you would have let me do that. I could have let you done it. I should have let you done it. Done it? Do it. <laughs> All right, you want to cut it though since you're knife guy? Knife guy. Knife guy. Knife hands. What are knife hands, Brennan? Knife hands are a gesture used in the Marine Corps when you're being very emphatic about something and you need to express yourself, you... Put your minute. hands up like this they to make it. They kind of look like a martial arts kind of thing. It stems from what the drill instructors do in boot camp to make to get their point across. You make that sushi right now! <laughs> so let's go ahead and let's cut our roll and then let's make our bento box because we have everything we need to make the most beautiful bento box and I'm really hungry actually. Can I try and cut this? You can. All right, I'm gonna start here because that's what I feel comfortable Don't with. Don't think you should do that. Oh boy, okay. You gotta actually chop it down. Oh, That's okay, boy. you don't need that. Let's try this again. Should you cut? No, cut. I want you to cut. I'm gonna mess, I just- You I gotta just... get out of your head. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna- Really, really just get in there. Ha! Oh, you boy. You wanna hold it, you wanna hold <laughs> it too. Why am I'll I... hold this for you a little bit bigger. Oh, okay, that's working. It's working. Yay! Boom! Look at that! Let me see that. Good job, honey. Look at that. Look at how proud he is. I'm proud too. I gotta say, I was always so nervous about making sushi. It was always something that I thought I could never do. And honestly, it's a lot of fun. So now we are ready to create and assemble our bento box. Yeah. All right, so go ahead and pour our soy sauce in our little soy sauce area. Do a decent amount of seaweed salad. That looks nice. Let me do this one. Don't forget we need room for the rice and the edamame. Oh, that's right. But you know what? I feel like this is a piece of art as well. So let's just have fun with it. All right, now we're gonna put a little rice in here. And I'm gonna go ahead and set the rolls up nicely. It's gonna be like the Rooney special right here. I like it. All right, edamame. Need some edamame in the bowl. We're just gonna throw a little salt on top of that edamame. I honestly, I think this looks stunning. Let's get the chopsticks and dig in, yeah? Oh, chopsticks, you yeah. say? <gasps> ha ha, green or red? Oh, that's fine, I'm just hungry. I'm so impressed by our teamwork. You are the dream maker here. I've done minimal work and you're an artist. You're a true artist. Oh, thanks, honey. You're welcome. Well, let's eat the art that we have created together. Okay, you go first. Okay. Since I'm you did go the bulk ahead. of the work. Who needs like takeout? You can make it at home. That's the whole point of our show. Mm, oh my gosh. So good. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going in. Mmm. That's not bad. You know what? Mmm, a little ginger. Wow, mm. guys. This is really fun. I am so glad we got to do this. Did you know the mixing of the soy sauce and the wasabi in the West is common, but in Japan, it's rarely seen. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Woo -hoo -hoo. I like wasabi. This is such a great meal. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Ah, lost a bean, <laughs> the lost bean. We're losing our beans over here. If you want to see more episodes of Bucket List Bistro, you can catch us here every two weeks on Taste of Fox. See you next time. And don't forget your passports. Oh. I always forget my passport. <laughs> <laughs>